So when we speak of the word focus, a few things come to mind. First is a clear intention meditated on with holistic sincerity, care and deep commitment, with an honest conviction and clearly directed for purpose. Upon reflecting over the last month in Hip Hop Appreciation Week, lifted to let me know that this year's theme was in fact the embodiment of what focus is in our lives. Aspect of hip hop in its own right. We met on a video shoot, or possibly it is being the keynote speaker for the Temple of Hip Hop at the United Nations in the early part of the decade. Ernie has been able to share clarity of thought with many in the hip hop community that his love for right over wrong and fairness for us all, for our ethnicity, shows in his work. He actually cares. When I look at Ernie's photos, for they to see the history of hip hop culture of R&B, or even of political figures that run things on our planet. Ernie transcends his duty of a guy that just went around and happened to freeze the element of hip hop with, with, with his photography. It is the same with Club Ernie's thought. As hip hop matured and gravity of this kind of culture, the things that were more political than usual, or even the kind of hardcore, Ernie did by magazines word up, the source, and later, rap masters. Sincere love for hip hop culture, and he captures the essence of it, as opposed to what is, for the most part, commercial, you know, commercialized images. He captures the artist at, at probably some of their vulnerable moments and, and makes them feel comfortable with that. For Queen Latifah. The entire cover of her landscape only allows you to see her lovely pronounced smile. And it was a Zulu nation who also pulled it together and named it the Elephants with the B-Boys, the B-Girls, the rappers, the MCs, the aerosol writers, the graffiti artists, the DJs. And then we added the fifth element, which was knowledge and after the rest one. We say the fifth element of hip hop which holds it all together, just knowledge, culture, and all the stand. The MC. This individual is normally a big focus. And I'm a very positive sister and I uh, have my intentions. Definitely the women's voice. So I'm kind of 100%. We can't do this women, you know what I'm saying? You know, as far as stage control. The DJ and MC go together like a church in its knee. They each have their distinctive function, but they complement each other to the focus. When the DJ lays down the bass line to a cut, and let people understand where you coming from this way. Yeah, so all these known DJs to shame, man. All these brothers out there getting nasty over time, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta keep on, man. It's like, you gotta make good connections and just keep on doing what you're doing. Man. Expressive art, but dance in hip hop will make our African ancestors proud. Back in their day, they communicated with the drum. In this modern day, it is done with the turntables and a drum machine. Dancers, choreographers have a unique ability to take what the MC is saying to the DJ's beat and bring it to life in the form of dance. 
This method of artistic expression has been the inroad to the business for artists such as Kid and Clay, Puff Daddy, and let's not forget dancers turned choreographers like Big Les and Fatima. These two women were brought to host television shows and produce special projects respectively. Outside of the box that they tell you to be in, hip hop started real small, just like we do as babies. And it grew and grew and grew and it's still growing. And I've been lucky enough to be taken all over the world to do shows around the world, to meet people around the world, to get blessings and, and love around the world thanks to hip hop. And many of us who would be dead or in jail or whatever made and found that we were artists, whether whatever element of hip hop we did. And that movie won the 2007 Best Documentary in the Big Apple Film Festival, which was a total shock to us. We didn't even stay for the party. They said stay for the party. We said, nah, our chances of winning are slim to none. Number one, nothing in hip hop ever won an award before. And no Native American ever got swept except a foot in the behind. So we knew our chances was zip to zero. And the next morning, I got a call early in the morning. They said, congratulations, brother. I'm doing all the Toronto hip hop, uh, Toronto Pico, and also Keep Rocking You. We got the legendary graffiti right in the house, EGR Eager, and we also got Zakisha Brown in the house representing MC, and the legendary DJ Malboni. There's um, epic moments in hip hop when our uh, rap first became signed, you know, like before that, before it got wrapped in the light. No, no, I won't make sure. At you. first, like, we made, it made an epic jump, and then hip hop became what it is, rap became what it is today. Now we're breaking the element, the dance element. Um, I feel the moment of it becoming an Olympic, uh, the, the, the attachment, is it, yeah, it's Olympic sport, is the exact same thing as if when rap first in 1979. When it, when it, so you see it like uh, it being a good thing? Anything that builds upon the central elements of hip hop, which are central indigenous elements, is a good thing. How people use that sport, how people use that knowledge, how people use that, that skill, if it's just, if they can find a way to incorporate it into their spiritual, mental, intellectual growth, it's a blessing. The worst thing that could happen to it is for it to be forgotten. Once it's on the Olympic stage, it's around the world, and it will inspire young people who had no idea of hip hop and no idea of breaking. So you're going to see a lot of people inspired. You're going to be so, see some of the most ferocious dancers in history coming out. So yes, it's a good thing. Okay, that's perfect. And Knowledge then, born. Yes, okay. And then I, just, I remember back when we had the, the anniversary meeting of the minds, you know, the, like 10 years, 15 years ago, back when we were coming, and we were discussing about do documenting hip hop history in a museum. And like I said, I've noticed uh, how now it is actually looking like it's happening. Uh, people have been coming together and they've been raising funds. So Curtis Blow said he raised 84 million out from forever. And like, I'm just saying it's, uh, it's a good thing, but I remember when. It, it's good to see after what the nation have been through over the years, over the last actually, oh, four years or so, and it's still uh, consolidating. So uh, what would you say is the state of, the state of um, what's happening? Okay, very carefully, I want anyone who's doing any museum or any museum quality thing. Shh! Anyone who's doing anything, sorry bro. Oh, okay, you think. Anyone who's doing anything with a museum, listen carefully. In order to fill your museum, you have to be filled it with real imagery from real people who are at the real culture. Make fucking sure they get paid, okay? And you could have these glamorous motherfucking museums, which is wonderful. I'm excited. I'm, I'm thrilled to be in them. But I got to get that paper, too. If they got a picture of Andy Warhol, a uh, telephone with a banana on it and that's worth 35 million well you damn well better put something in my pocket because I ain't playing that shit alright
Yeah. Is once you divide yourself from the creators, the progenitors, the builders and the pioneers of the ones who sacrificed their life, their time, their blood, their sweat, coming out here with that auto tune, nah, 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 sit down and shut the fuck up. All right? That goes for all y'all. And you're pretty. Big deal. My dog is pretty. And, and she ain't trying to do a rap out. Or levels that other people don't even know about. He came to me, didn't know me, came humble, stepped to me, came correct, brought me out to his people, let me do my thing, and was gracious. And now, seven, I can't believe seven years have passed like that. From 2012 to 2019. And we're both still here. Presidents, kings, even countries are gone. And we're still here. So, peace. Sons. People just hear hip hop and they think of oral blues and monkeys with tattoos on their heads and you know. It's automatic, right? Yeah. yeah. That's we even talked about that in the movie about, you know. So this year's uh, theme for Hip Hop Appreciation Week is focus. So I wanna, um, um, you guys are pretty much pros at what you do. Like you are pros at what you do. I know you're tired, there's chaos in the skies, we're all in disguise, and guys this and ladies, and ladies this and guys, but we get limited, or F you up, just change positions, don't care what others think of me, just glad they're thinking, cause one thing that everyone has is an opinion, the point of them in the shrink in my life because of criticism, the energy you choose to bring to life is what you get, it's your decision, I choose to carry our tradition and follow no religion, Thank you very, 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 very much. Yeah. Thank you. And everyone greeted me with the word peace. 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 And they didn't use it loosely. They meant it. And what a beautiful way to greet someone and say peace. Instead of nigger. Yo, nigger. Yo, bitch! And it's worse than HIV or any other disease because it's virtually incurable. And the music is leading the CSDS. This beloved hip hop, this music, this art, this culture, this, this magic, whatever you, you want to call it, is killing us because it's making us, our children, stupid. But I'm 72 years old. I don't want to tell you what I can do. Hope I never have to show you. But the only way you get to 72 is to be 62 and 52 and 32 and 42, and you're not going to do that with the drugs and the bullshit and, you know, the 97 sexual partners whose names you can't remember the next morning because you were high on whatever. If your life means something to you and your future kids, or if you don't have kids, if your family means something to you, whatever, you know, whatever you hold dear to your life, if you, if you value that, we must honor the teachings of the elder. We must do this. And everybody that's in here that came through and resonates that and wants to build a community, just know that I have your back. I do this, and the many people who are here that do this, we do this for the community. And the community ain't shit without unity. And so what we, we must do is unite and show this to our people.